second report, victory in Tunisia. One result of it will be that the long way round the Cape will give way to the shortcut through the Mediterranean, with the consequent release of shipping for other purposes. Now that the fortress of Europe is entirely encircled, there will certainly be many purposes requiring thousands of tons of shipping for the even greater battles yet to come. Meanwhile, the thanks of all the Allied peoples go to the Tunisian victors. To General Eisenhower, the Supreme Commander, for his great work of organization, planning and coordination. To the American troops themselves, who have fully played the part assigned to them in the Tunisian campaign, with brilliant success at Mater in the final phase. To the French leaders and fighting men for gallant work done beside their allies. our great Royal Air Force leaders, Tedder and Cunningham, for magnificent support throughout the whole North African struggle. The Royal Air Force has indeed set new standards of cooperation, and it has affected the total elimination of the Luftwaffe from North Africa before the end of the fighting on the ground. So the last days of the campaign found the RAF bombing and gunning unopposed. to Monte and the glorious 8th Army who turned defeat into victory and victory into triumph. To Anderson and the 1st Army who have held on like bulldogs and finally cornered the enemy, like the 8th Army, they too have shown the Bosch just how decadent Britain is. And to General Alexander who has commanded all these forces and led them to complete victory in Tunisia. <laughs>